The sleeping city awakes to the terror of a new threat. Yuma teams race to evaluate the danger. Have you finished stuffing around yet? I think that's perfect. Just hold there for one second. A second's all you've got, Charlie. I said hold it steady. You want to take over, Charlie? Tactics and that thing will turn this place into a desert. What else can we do? Ask it to leave? Pip it up. Oh, you're beautiful. We should get out of here. Why didn't you stick around and help for a change? It won't work. As the beast disappears, Jack is astonished to see his old friend Stanley Haggard. Another survivor from Mars? Long time no see, Jack. This couldn't be worse if someone had designed it like this. Maybe that's just what we're facing, a monster that's tailor-made to beat us. Oh, you've been in space for too long, Jack. Gouda cells aren't just a chance collection of organic debris. They've been programmed to survive at any cost. Is that why you were ready to run? You can't fight everything head on. Look, everything we do to it is more dangerous to us than to it. It's a monster. There you go, Jack. So Gouda is blown to pieces and programs all of its cells to rendezvous at the Pacific Palms Motel. All right, Charlie, what about this creature? Oh, we see that's easy, according to Jack, because it's also been programmed to our nursemaid. Any cells that can't get there on their own. Exactly. That monster out there is trying to collect cells together. And then what? The Goodis isn't going to stop at one monster. It's not going to stop till we're all part of it. I think you're making a bit much of that blob, Jack. A year ago, none of us would have believed what we saw today. Well, you'll both be able to debate the matter when Stanley decides to join the team. If, Arthur, I would like to keep my options open. You two must be the luckiest pilots alive. Well, let's just say someone must have been watching over us. Let's say he's got nine lives. I was just born lucky. You've had your share from what I've heard. And uh, what puts you on the streets with this? Uh, that's a classified weapon, Charles. Still working for the government, Stan? Well, intelligence branch asked me to stay on after debriefing. <laughs> <laughs> They're an amateur bunch. You'll find more action here. Oh, I'm sure I would. The company's up 100% already. You were always a greaseball, Stan. Glad you made it back. So, we saved you too, Jack. If you could call it that. It's been dead. Don't you feel like you're living on borrowed time? Time won't matter in a little while. We'll all be part of eternity. I've never seen you like this before, Jack. Uh-huh. You were looking at Stan in there as if you've never met before. That isn't the man I knew on Mars. No one could go through what you did and not change. you got to get out of here. What have I said? I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want protection. I want some answers. I've got to go. There's something wrong here. Is there uh, something I can help you with? Where's Haggard? I thought you were just, you know, talking to him. I wouldn't be asking you if I knew, would I? Mm. What's that? Uh, this 
is my 5,000 islands dressing. Well, why not relax, Jack? We'll sit down, have a bite. breaking through. Not they offer it. The Eastern Valley. It's back. The Gouda scanners have shown that each time one of these monsters have surfaced, it's been near a cluster of contacts. The monsters have always been drawn to the strongest signal. Knowing how attractive we are doesn't get rid of that thing on the beach. We should ask Jack. Where is he? I don't know. Well, place that thing off there! It's trying to destroy the base. Jack said it would. Lloyd, find our clairvoyant. Quickly, if you don't mind. If we don't move soon, it'll be here with us. Then I suggest we go out and meet our intruders! <laughs> It's going off like a like a firecracker. What is that? It's the Gouda sensor. We've we've just got countrywide scan now, but I can't seem to get any resolution. Widen your range. They're everywhere. Have you logged their position? It's done automatically. So we'll be able to track them down. Be able to hear them cough. Terrific. You guys are doing a great job. <laughs> now it won't be long before they're all together again. This will do any good. Yeah, it'd make me feel a whole lot better. Well, well, I'm really pleased for you, Lloyd, but um, how long do you think we'll be around to enjoy it? Arthur, take cover! Hold your positions! It's time I had a crack at this thing. If you want this base, you'll have to take me first. Then me. A phantom. A phantom didn't wreck ten years' work on the gun emplacements. Then why didn't it keep attacking? It's playing with us. Maybe it's got other plans. Well, it doesn't think much of us. Oh, no! What, John? What? I left my lunch on the stove. I know what happened to you on Mars. You're not Stan. What the hell are you? I'm one of the messengers. You're part of that monstrosity. You don't sound your old self, Jack. None of us are. Some of us improve with age. Do this. It's see my feet. Before long, you'll all be part of Gudas. <laughs> It's no good, Jack. It's inevitable. I'm glad you're here, Arthur. It seems we have a renegade. It's now what you think. Oh, nice one, Jack. I didn't tell anyone to move. Sensible, Arthur. Stay where you are! You both have some explaining to do. I still want to be on the team, Arthur. We'll all have time to talk about your future. Spread them, boys. Kemp! Take that pendant off. That won't prove anything. Off! I told you he was unstable. If you believe him, we're all dead. Lock them both up. You're gonna need all the help you can get, Arthur. We'll manage. This won't solve your problems. Don't panic, Jack. It'll all be over soon. Why not you two just sit back and relax and talk about old times? You can't be serious. It was only a matter of time before we were infiltrated. But Jack's fought as hard as any of us. I'd be a fool to let that interfere with the facts. The only fact is you're making a mistake. 
With two comatose technicians and sensor readings that are going up the scale, I can't afford to take chances. That doesn't prove Jack's the problem! Here's a little going away present for you. Just what I need. Don't fight it, Jack. It pays to be on the winning side. It's not a side we're talking about. It's a species called Homo sapiens. Ring a bell? No, oh, no, not with me, Jack. I'm too busy evolving. You're on a one-way path, Stan. It's a dead end for all of us. Don't fight it. It'll only win. Smells good. What? Oh, don't forget the gas, Charles. Hey, guys, take a look at this. The gun's as fake as Stanley. We've lost the visual on Pachindo's cell. What about Haggard? Picture, no Haggard. It uh, seems that I misjudged him. Never mind, where's Jean? What are you doing, Charlie? I'm rusted solo. We're going to be good friends. Why me, Stanley? Because you're important. I'm a pilot. You're more than that to our friend downstairs. And what would you know about friendship? <sighs> friendship? Exploded. There must have been so much vinegar in the dressing. You idiot! Where's my table? You worried about your accessories? Sight! Now what? <laughs> All the explosives are missing. The hangar! <coughs> Security breach. All personnel report to their battle stations. Arthur, he's got an explosives magazine. Seal all bulkheads. Abort takeoff. Him get out of there. This is Arthur. The other fix on the salt on. They're headed downtown. Part of it. And you too. Very soon. But you're human. Doesn't that mean anything anymore? Not when the choices have run out. Let her go! I want to talk! 
What is there to discuss, Jack? Philosophy? Aesthetics? They won't exist anymore. You, Stan, that's what I want to talk about. It's too late for that, Jack. Go on, Jack! Go on. Let her go. You'll have to kill me, Jack. You can't do it, can you? I'm your friend. We've been through a lot together. I'll help you. Here's what you have to decide. Is there enough of the old Stanley left? That's what you'll have to live with, Jack. Here's what you want. Oh. What do you want, Stan? I want out, Jack. I want to be free. <sighs> I'll live forever as a part of Gudas. Pull the trigger and do us both a favor. <laughs> Live forever as part of the genetic chain of the most powerful being in the universe. The choice is yours. Gudas is a god. That's not a choice. That's bullshit. She won't be able to help him. Don't move, Jack. Still got a choice. Kick the pendant into the pit. Or I'll shoot Gene. Don't, Jack! Don't listen to him! you can to help. Because of Earth's polluted atmosphere, Ultraman can only retain his gigantic form for three minutes. Time is running out.
what's happened. She thought she could save us. That's good as she's infected. Will she be all right? She needs us all now. We have to fight harder than we have ever fought before. Jean Echo is infected and in danger of falling under the spell of Gudis. Meanwhile, somewhere deep beneath the desert, Gudis is gaining strength, preparing to emerge in its final and terrifying form.